hey guys, can you tell by the ensemble what all of my classes all day long, 24-7 are doing? Painting! Everybody be painting, friends. And I have made some new discoveries about painting with my students, about a couple of supplies that I'm really digging and loving, and a couple of paints that I'm really enjoying. So I thought I'd share it with you today. And one of my new discoveries are something that you're going to be like, that's not new, Stevens. Of course, ice cube trays. But these ice cube trays, and this is after everybody painting, so oh, they'd be a lot better if I didn't do stuff like that. These ice cube trays actually um, come with a lid. Uh, what? Yeah. They are lidded ice cube trays. Why somebody would want lidded ice cube trays, I don't know. But for an art teacher, they'd be perfect. And the reason I love them so is because they are keeping my paint nice and fresh. You know, usually I'm like a big lover of the egg carton because the whole recycle thing is, you know, a maze. But the thing with the egg cartons lately I've noticed is my styrofoam ones, they're leaking. And it's just drying out the paint. I'm losing paint. My ones that I used to swear by, the plastic ones with the double fold, the way they're molding them now, the little cup for the paint is a lot smaller and the paint tends to run one color to the other. So these lidded paint trays, when I'm not spilling the paint everywhere, have been my favorite thing ever. The other thing that I absolutely love are doggy dishes. Ta-da! I would tilt this towards you, but you just saw how that happened. How well that went swimmingly. So on one side is water, on the other side is a sponge. How about I just flip the camera around and show you and just make it a lot easier for you to understand. And I never know where to look. Am I looking at you here? Am I looking at you here? Am I looking at you here? I don't know. So if I'm looking at you all over the place and stop moving So around. if you promise not to judge me by the state of my painting trays, then I promise not to... I don't know, I can't make promises you can't keep, which would be any promise I tend to make. So here's what our painting setup looks like. Let me back it up a little bit. My students sit four kiddos to a table and without the coffee, of course, and they have a messy mat usually underneath. They have a tray, my lidded tray of paint. And in the doggy dish, you see a sponge and water. In just a minute, I'm gonna share with you a little clip of me teaching my kindergarten students for the very first time how to use these trays. This is what the trays look like after kin two classes of kindergarten, one class of second grade, and two classes of first grade have used them. So not too shabby. Yes, it's called a paintbrush because you paint, paint with, with it. it. You can't brush your teeth with it. That's just ridiculous if you have colorful teeth. <clears throat> well, now that I am painting, my paintbrush, she is like, a ballerina. A ballerina. She is always on. Her tippy toes are. Like this. Boys and girls, whenever you're painting, it's important that you keep your paintbrush on your tippy toes. Because, ahem, paintbrush ballerinas are always on. Always on. tippy toes. So 
on my real paintbrush. Here's the handle. Here's a nice little pillow for your fingers in case your finger needs to take a little nap. You can squish it right there. What's that called? Danger. The danger zone. If you put your hands there, then your hands will look like mine. Uh, and then last but not least, <coughs> did you see how I was looking? <coughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your paintbrush and dip here and then dip here and then dip there and then dip there because who can raise their hand and tell me what would happen to our colors Jayla they will, they will mix up they will get all mixed up right now the colors look so beautiful and there's all these different ones to choose from if you take your paintbrush and dip here and dip there and dip there and dip there the colors will get all mixed up Today. I pinky promise. I pinky promise that when I am painting, when I, when I, am painting I will not, I will not mix all mix the colors up. The colors up because, because it won't be, it won't be beautiful, and beautiful and colorful. Like me. Like me. Promise to clean my brush. Promise to clean my brush before I get a new color. Goodness. Oh, but can you paint this little That's bitty spot? You Pick maybe a you color you haven't mine. used before and paint around your edge, please. You forgot it. Or I could yeah. just paint more blue. Who did you draw? Lines. 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 Angel. Look how. Uh oh, we can't flick our brush because if you flick your brush, you get dirty paint. I draw Angel. You. Drying rack, please. So those two videos I shared, the first day the kids were painting with a watercolor paint, the second day they were painting with my temper paint. I get asked a lot about what colors of temper I like to use. It varies from color to color. I really like Saks Versatemp. Blick Premium Tempera is great. I also um, really enjoy using Crayola, but I don't love their washable colors. And I also do a lot of pre-mixing. So a lot of the colors that you see have been pre-mixed for the kids, especially if we're not focused on mixing the colors. In this case, we were focused on just proper painting techniques. So these are the colors I mix. I either mix them in old bottles or I have a lot of these. You can get these at Sally Beauty. And these are great because you can just easily squirt the colors into the tray. Um, and so these are some of the paintings my kids have been working on. The kindergartners were making Kandensky-esque dots for dot day. So they're still painting around the edge. And then first graders use bingo daubers on bigger dots first day and then adding color okay. the next. Make some sense, guys. Um, yeah, that's all I got. And if you have any questions for me, please feel free to shoot them my way. Thanks, guys.